Somebody look at your neighbor and say, she finna bring it tonight. I said, somebody look at your neighbor and say, she finna bring it tonight. And if you ain't got a neighbor, look at yourself and say, she finna bring it to fuck a night. Oh, we gonna jump right into it, because that's how we do it over here. I've been getting a lot of questions about ancestors' money. You know, and on the ancestors, folks been wanting to know why do I honor my ancestors. Now, before I get into this message today, I want to make something very clear. I don't worship, as I said before, I do not worship my ancestors. I honor them. And it's a big difference. When people say they worship Jesus, they give him all the praise. They depend on Jesus for every damn thing. To pay their bills, to heal their body, all types of shit. But with me, I know better than that. I know that God is inside of me. Okay? So when I glorify God, I'm glorifying my fucker self. And when I glorify myself, that's right, I'm glorifying God. I want y'all to just look at this scripture real, real quick. 1 Corinthians 3 and 16. This is a mystery scripture right here. It says, Know ye not that ye are the temple of God and that the Spirit of God dwelleth in you. Oh, I want to read that again. I said, it says that know ye not that ye are the temple of God and that the Spirit of God dwelleth in who? That's right, you. So I don't bow down to anything. I know how to show honor to my ancestors. I know how to show honor, period. And that's when things become worked out for me. Okay, so, so we don't worship the ancestors. We honor them. Ah, you know what I find funny? Some people, they see spirits. They see the spirits of their dad relatives. And these fuckers be scared as a fucker. They ancestors be coming to these motherfuckers because they want some help on the other side. Oh, I'm going to break it down the fucker night. I said the ancestors come to people because they want help on the other side. They done died. The spirit of the, the ancestors come back to a relative and they scared out of their motherfucker head. The ancestors just want some help. And then they also have a message that they want to deliver to that family member. Okay? So either you can take it to the rest of the family. Folks can't even see Jesus. Uh, I said folks can't even see Jesus. And he get offering money. Praise and worship. Grape, grapefruit juice and motherfucker crackers. Y'all know when they taking communion. And I ain't judging nobody. I'm just being real. Jesus get every damn a thing. And the ancestors be sitting back like you little ungrateful little bitches. You niggas can't even pour me a fresh glass of water. Kiss my ass. She is shit. Y'all ready to go deeper? I said y'all ready to go deeper down to fuck a night. Well, come on and let's do it. Somebody say, so, so mad down. Why would it be wise for me to honor my ancestors? I want you to break that down for me. Why is it wise? Why is this something that would be good for me to do? Well, when we honor our ancestors, we continue a respectful line of communication. And that opens the door, okay? That opens the door for them to, to guide and assist us. But what if we don't open the door? then they can't really guide and assist us the proper way. But when you got the keys uh, and you stick that key in the motherfucking door, that's when you're able to get what it is you want for the ancestors. You're able to open doors now. Ah, our ancestors, when, when taken care of properly, they can affect the world that we reside in. And they can also have effect on our motherfucking money. So it would be very wise for us to deal with our ancestors. Listen to this. I, I had a girl 
one of my girls that I know. She said this to me. She said, so, so, madam. She said, I was a faithful giver at church. Every Sunday, I would give my money to tithes and offering. She said, it seemed like I was just giving my money and I wasn't receiving nothing in return. She said, but when you gave me that ancestor's money ritual, uh, she said, when you gave me that ritual, I began to see the change in my finances. I began to see the change in my daily life. I began to see things start to change for me for the better when I start dealing with my ancestors and working with them. Why? Somebody say, why? Because when you take care of the ancestors, they take care of of you. That's right. When you take care of the ancestors, they take care of you. Somebody look at your neighbor or yourself and say, don't forget about your ancestors because they ain't fucker forget about you. Folks ask me this question all the time. They say, what is ancestors money? I ain't never heard of ancestor money. Okay. Tell me about that until you brought it up. Break that down to me because it's interesting and I want to know more. Ancestors money is also known as Joss paper, hell notes, and ghost money. I'm going to say it again. Ancestors money is also known as Joss paper, hell notes, and ghost money. When you look at this ancestors money, most of, of them have the image of the Jade Emperor. In case you don't know who the Jade Emperor is. The Jade Emperor is known as being the, the spirit over all money on this earth. Whatever money you see down on this earth. I don't give a fuck. Pennies, dimes, nickels, Canadian money, whatever it is. Jamaican money, whatever. He got control over that money. So what does that mean? If I just told you that Jade Emperor is the spirit over all money. That mean to guess what? You need to be in his good grace, okay, to get you some money. Catch that on flick. When you look at this ancestor money, it look like toy money. Y'all see it right here. Don't it look like toy money to y'all? It may look like toy money. Don't let that shit fool you. I said it may look like fake money, toy money, but it's real money to our ancestors where they reside. It's not just ancestors' money. Okay? Because some people just think, oh, they just got ancestor money out. Uh-uh. It's all types of things that you can get for the ancestors. I want to make that clear. They got ancestor money. They got ancestors' clothing. Ancestor credit cards. Ancestor clothes. I mean, excuse me, cars. Food. And all types of things. That you can get for the ancestors. So it ain't no excuses. Ain't no type of excuses. Why you can't give to them. It only costs a, a few motherfucking dollars. For you to sacrifice. Come on now. Stop being stingy. We ain't got to be selfish. You want the help. So do the work. Do the work. Now another reason why we burn the ancestor money. Is because guess what. What we do for the ancestors. We're actually doing for ourselves as well. Now, for example, you may be in credit card debt. Somebody say shit. I got credit cards and these motherfuckers need to be paid. Alpha. You better burn a few of them credit cards to the ancestors. I'm talking about their credit cards. Burn some to the ancestors. I told you, you can burn clothes for them, credit cards, food, all types of stuff, cigarettes. Y'all seeing the pictures right here. I'm going to do a live video and I'm going to show y'all all this up. All this shit up. Okay? But what you would want to do is burn a credit card. Burn some credit cards to the ancestor. And tell them, I need y'all to remove this debt from these credit cards. Talk to your ancestors. I need y'all to pay off this credit card debt. That's how you do it. Now, if you don't have an altar, and I'm about to be ending it right here. If you don't have an altar and you still want to burn your ancestors some money. I sell the ritual. Yes, I do. I sell this ritual. You can send me an email. 
and we can get that together for you. Okay, but I sell the ritual. If you do not have an altar set up to your ancestors and you want to work with them as far as burn them some money and then help your finances out as well, I sell the ritual. So y'all just email me and we can get that for you. I also sell the Jade Emperor ritual as well. And you can do that to him for some money. Now, I want to say this. I sell the online ancestors book. And in that book, I go deeper. Okay, I tell you a lot more about the ancestors. And then it also tells you how to make an ancestors altar. And this is the online book that you can get. The ancestors book is called Hooking Up with My Ancestors. Now, if y'all want any of these rituals, then y'all go ahead and holler at me. I ain't trying to sell you nothing. If you don't want your life to improve, that's your motherfucker business, not mine. Okay? Shit, shit. Get at me. See y'all soon.